are live. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We're doing some more Pokemon Run and Bun. And as you guys can see, if I'm live, it means I'm healthy. <clears throat> the problem I have is fine. It's under control. Because I checked it early. Anyway. So we have to face two big-ass bosses. Both of them are living hell. I managed to have time to think about one of them. Haven't had time for the second one. Aqua Admin Shelly, Mian Shao, Nihilego, Dragonite Tornadus, Lantern, and Blasters. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, there is a plan. That's all I can say at the moment. There is a plan. And it's basically this. So, Aerodactyl against the Mian Shao, that's the easiest one. You know, dual wing, dual wing beat twice and we're done. Which is gonna bait Nihilego doing Meteor Beam, which I keep thinking is a steel move. It's not, it's a rock move. And for that, Steelix is still the best one because we hyper resist rock, even though our special defense is not that good. And one Earthquake will get the kill, no problem. Now, the biggest play here is that Steelix at full HP can bait either Dragonite or Tornadus, depending on the HP we take, on how much HP we lose. So he is just slightly pre-damaged, you know, like I think even 20 would have been enough, 40, 30, he just needs a little bit of pre-damage to make sure that Dragonite sees a kill with Aqua Tail. And because it's Choice Bandit, he's always gonna do that. So then we can bring in Delmize. Delmize is on this team just for this. Just for the rapid spin and nothing else. That's it. That's all I want from you. Because Nihilego is also very likely to just go Stealth Rock. So we're gonna need to get rid of the rocks. And we can pivot onto an Aqua Tail easily with Delmize. Kingdra is then here to tank those Aqua Jets. Not Aqua Jets, sorry. The Aqua Tails. And we just Ice Beam for the win. Rapid Spin is gonna break Dragonite's multi-scale, so that's perfect. At which point Tornadus comes in, and it's super likely to go Acrobatics, or even Grass Knot we would survive. Then we would pivot, pivot back to Aerodactyl, landing a Stone Edge. Then, this would bring in Lantern, and now it's random. It would be Thunderbolt or Scald, something like that. Seismitoad can survive them both, and is actually faster than this Lantern, so we can Earthquake. But, we need to take now enough damage with this one, so that A, we can survive two, two uh, Scalds, and that we can Earthquake. Uh, we don't kill with one Earthquake, we kill with two, so we're gonna need to take one hit, but we have enough HP to survive two. Actually, I think we need to, to take two of them, because when Blastoise comes in, we cannot let Blastoise shell smash. If Blastoise shell smashes, it's over. That's basically it. Lilligant, as long as she swaps in on a water move, or anything else really, she can outspeed and kill the Blastoise with Leaf Storm holding Miracle Seed. That's, that's the whole plan. Seismitoad has a Rust Berry in case of Scald Burn, which is fine by me. I think we can just jump right onto it. What's up, Shelly? You're gonna meddle in Team Aqua's affairs. You're either absolutely fearless, ignorant, or both. You're so cute, you're disgusting. Thanks! <laughs> Mm-hmm, fakes me out, that's normal. Break the sash. And get the kill. Okay. We've got Nihilego about to do Meteor Beam. So Steelix on this.
Boom. We're now dealing with a plus one Nihilego. Okay. And we just Earthquake here. The Stealth Rock. So this is going to be Aqua Tail. Swaps the Delmize. Come on, show me Aqua Tail. Goes for Fire Punch instead. Okay. Then that makes it much more difficult. Goes for Fire Punch instead. I mean, I can still go Kingdra. We're taking some damage. Let's see. Okay, that was unfortunate, but if we get burnt here on Kingdra, it shouldn't matter that much. Going for Fire Punch was actually unlikely there compared to Aqua Tail, because Aqua Tail does so much more damage. Okay, I end up not breaking this, the multi scale either. It's one of those situations where the plan is good, the execution was poor. Ice Beam here. It's fine. Incoming Tornadus. We pivot Aerodactyl here. Okay, thank you. Lands the Stone Edge. Cool. And this is now Lantern on a random move. Right? Yep. I need Seismitoad onto this. We'll take less damage from Stealth Rocks, but still. Ideally, this is an electric move. But it's kind of random. Okay. That's fine. Now, at 152, we need to get hit here. I don't know exactly how much. Let me just uh, confirm. So, if Lantern hits me once with a skull, that's 39 to 46. At 152, I'm never dead. Well, I'm dead on one roll of crits. So we need to get hit once, absolutely. So I need to mud shot and earthquake after. Or what does the most damage? Liquidation does more. Yeah, we have to liquidation here. Let him attack. At eighty nine. At 89, would Blastoise see a kill? Let's see... Yes! Blastoise will see a kill now. So the Earthquake here... Regular Blastoise sees a kill, so we now swap to Lilligant. Still went for the Shell Smash, he rolled low. Well, this one's a failure. Because now you're just gonna kill, aren't you? Then I can't afford to swap out. Yep. Well, that was a failure, boys. Why don't we try that one again? Fuck! Why? So, Mian Shao comes in. Takes me out. It's fine.
equal wing beat, we're good. On to the Nihilego. Swaps to Steelix. Okay. We just want an Earthquake here. On to the Dragonite. Okay, Steelix at 82 against the Dragonite. Okay. Steelix at 82 has... Let me show you this. Steelix at 82 HP, that's 45%. The only move it should be doing is Aqua Tail and nothing else. faster and you see a kill come on there we go so we can rapid spin good I could stay in here and do a little bit of damage but there's no point because Kingdra is gonna kill in one hit anyways Spin this and it's over. Or not. No problem. You can always do another one. I guess it's in range. So yeah, there is a chance. You could always never melt ice the, the Kingdra for the win. Aerodactyl on the acrobatics. Landing the Stone Edge with, even if you equip a Wide Lens, might be the effiest part of this strat. Lantern in. We bring out Seismitoads. So I am gonna mud shot here. It's all, it's all the same. You just need to get hit. Okay. Eh, yeah, that was a crit. Speed doesn't matter. Okay, at 108 it might not be enough actually. Seismitoad at 108 versus regular Blastoise. 48% is enough for Surf. And Lantern is doing 39 to 46. It's too risky. It's too risky. I have to swap out here. But you should see a kill with Surf, anyways. Pivot onto the Surf, please. It still Shell Smashes. Is it always gonna do that? Now wait a damn second. Let's me toad onto the Blast Toys real quick. Regular Blast Toys would calc a kill with Surf. There is no reason to set up. This is not in the rain either. Because I was calking in the rain. Yeah, there's the problem. There's the problem. The AI was not seeing a kill there. Okay. So, the reason why this doesn't work? I can't breathe. <laughs> okay, now we know. Um, then I think I just want to fully heal, to fully heal my Mon. Might be a little bit safer. I'll use that. Okay. Aerodactyl gets the kill, no problem. Me and Xiao is not an issue. Nihilego. Steelix comes in. Mm-hmm. Perfectly fine. 
Heavy Slam would also kill. But Dragonite, this should be Aqua Tail. Give it onto the Rapid Spin user. This is gonna break the multi multi scale. And now King Draken hyper resist those water moves. Okay, that was a crit. If it didn't kill, we had plenty of turns. Ornada sees acrobatics. Hmm? And you missed it. Okay, so try again. Fine. The lantern comes in, pivots to seismitoads. Gets hit with Ice Beam here. Okay. It's fine. Just need to make sure we're low enough to bait Blastoise. Mm hmm. Okay, 116 is not enough. Need to get hit again. Okay, 55 is fine. I have a Rustberry just to prevent that. 55... You definitely see a kill now. Goes for the Surf. Nice. If it shell smashed, it's over. The Leaf Storm boosted my Miracle Seed, guarantees a kill here. Nice. And that is Deathless Aqua Admin Shelly. The key is to read the calcs properly. <laughs> Alright. Do you want to give a nickname to this cast form? No. And that's it. Right, you're blocking this place. Now comes the worst part. I mean, we were we were given a life orb, so might be useful in this fight. Cast form itself absolutely sucks. Uh, I mean, I'll level him up, but I don't think we get anything from it. Hydro pump, I guess. Fire Blast. Blizzard. Okay. And Hurricane. Sure. You learn Thunder too? Yes, you do. Um, fire, air, water. Ah, uh, there's no Earth. I'll go with Thunder. You'd be the Avatar. Oh! 66. Right, we get one level for beating this boss. Just a little, a little, like that, a little shard in the face there. Okay, one level. I feel like we need like three for this. No, it can be done. Not worried. Does anybody learn anything at 66? At this point... I'd be curious if anybody learns anything at all. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is very... We probably don't get anything. Maybe some mons learned something at level 67, but I don't know. Getting something at 66 feels very unlikely. Alright, let's push him up. 
Yep. Let's get a little... Uh, a little bit of stats. Too bad my Basque Legion is not Swift Swim. That would be amazing in this fight. Uh, I don't know, I have Rain Dish, Movie Colo, maybe it's good for something. We'll figure something out, guys. I just don't want to have to bet on 50-50s. That, that would be the worst part. Let's put you guys as well. Sixty-six on all. We're almost done. And for us, I think we do get access to a move tutor here, who's gonna teach us the big moves. Okay, we get Dragon Pulse. Nice. And for us, learn something. I'll be damned. Electros learning Thunderbolt. Our Electros is spread. Definitely no Thunderbolts, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we don't take that. Boom Burst. Doesn't Boom Burst interact with... Hmm. I think I want this. But do I want to lose Snarl? I mean, I know Boom, Boom Burst gets boosted, but... Do we get to use it? Hmm. You know what, I'll lose Snarl, but I, I'm, it might be a, a regret. Might be a regret. Also checked in the calcs, there is no point in getting a Mega Beedrill for this fight because it's not fast enough. <laughs> Swampert is just that fast. So now we have so much to think about. Uh, we're facing the fight with the Swampert. Yep, this time it's the Swampert. We're facing Swampert and Gyarados first. And then Dragapult, Magnezone, Toxic Croak, and Exeggutor. Let's see what we can do. Wait a second. Didn't you... Ah, there you are. You can teach the big stuff now. You have to think about that. Now we can get a couple of items. Heart scale here out in the open. I think... Art scale here, and there's maybe a rare candy at the bottom. Oh, it's a flying gem. Okay, that's it. Got the weather ball. Fucking room. Oh my god, my controllers. It's it's seen better better days. If this happens during a fight, it sucks. I guess he buries up there. Huh. You need waterfall for that. Alright. So now to think about this hell. Give me my starter. Huh? So cool. So cool. So cool. Now we can start thinking about this. Swampert, Gyarados, Dragapult, Magnezone, Toxic Croak, and Alolan Executor. The main question is how do we get through the first turn? Like, who do we kill? Who do we kill? Who do we go for? First of all, Swampert Mega. This thing is dangerous. What would be really interesting for me 
would be Corviknight doing feather dances on this thing. Because I would take 56 to 66, puts you into minus 2 with a citrus berry, I could afford to really put you down. Minus 6 the Swampert and just worrying about one of the sides would be crazy. Of course, any crit would ruin this. Um, but the other side, Gyarados, needs to die fast, right? Because it is water flying. Now, the problem here is that we can't open up with Mega Ampharos. Because this is just going to bait Swampert to doing Earthquake. Earthquake, high horsepower, it's whatever, you Mega and you still die. So it doesn't even matter. Dragon Pulse. Um, and Electros is not even fast enough anyways. Against the Gyarados. So do I have an electric move that can kill... Someone that's faster than Gyarados to kill it, but can survive Swampert. I gotta be honest, I don't think I do, because... Electrode is too slow. Actually, slower than this Mega Swampert. You see an Electrode... Yep, just dies to Earthquake. One option would be to fake out the Swampert. Turn 1. Um, and then go into the Gyarados. Volt switching with magnets. So there's an option there. We can volt switch. Hmm, and that's with Intimon. So I think that's a good opening. Questions the rest. Uh, Swampert is gonna be okay, on this side, on their left, my my right. Who has fake out? Uh. I think the bigger question is who has fake out who can also survive a hit from Swampert, because then I can guarantee they're attacking the Electrode. My Aerodactyl is too slow. <laughs> uh, fake out, fake out, fake out. You are rough skin, right. But too slow for this. Uh, flip turn, right, your Mega Launcher. This one is... Okay, this one becomes speed 220. Not to forget that. Damn. Like I have no fake out users. I have Ludi. Is that it? Oh, I have Ludi and Raichu. Right. Hmm. Ludi and Raichu. First impression Surfetch is doing nothing. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at Swampert. I think Ludi might be a perfect counter for this. Like, actually. Damn. Ludi can do this pretty damn well. After Fake Out, I'm gonna be minus one attack. 3.9. Yeah, it's guaranteed kill. 3.9, then the 96.4. Okay, so that is a way. We found a way in. Now it's the rest. Who do we bait? So basically we're gonna be able to get off scot free. Fortunately I have no priority move with grass. Who do I have with grass moves even? Um, okay, besides Lilligant and... Right, Brelum, not good enough. Maybe if it were Prankster, I could spore the the Mega. 
Sleep Powder of Vivillon. No. Not a lot of options. Uh, grassy Glide, that's not gonna work, right? <laughs> Only on grassy terrain. Right. So it's gotta be looting. So who am I gonna pivot to? I think we should swap the order. Because I want to pivot into something that does not kill the Ludi. I need to bait something. Hmm. Interesting. So, if we're facing... It needs to be something that resists Swampert. Well, something that Ludi can resist. Let's see, we got Dragapult, which is probably a terrible idea. Dragapult cannot see a kill. My Basque Legion is Mold Breaker, unfortunately. Because if he were Swift Swim, I would scale the speed for Poltergeist. If. I think I might want Magnazone, no? Magnazone doesn't see a kill with anything. That might be able to bait something. Liquidation Stone Edge. Okay, there's also Toxic Croak. Hmm. Toxic Croak is a bad idea, and probably so is Exeggutor. Yeah. I'd rather bait Magnazone, I guess? And if I want to bait Magnazone, I need something that is weak to both the Swampert and the Gyarados. So I'm looking at something that's maybe weak to water or rock to bait the Stone Edge. And Thunder. So if I bring in Masquerain, I guarantee Thunder. And on Swampert. I guarantee the Stone Edge. I bring out Masquerain. Also, it's minus one on the Swampert. Which is not bad. Makes things a little bit more viable. Minus one on the Swampert as Magnazone comes in. Which means on this Magnazone... I can then swap... Seismitoad. Which can survive both of them. Okay. I'm seeing something. At least as a start. Ascarain is bait. And we get Seismitoads. Where is it? Where is Seismitoad? In the box. Ah, oh, my blind moments. There you go. That's already four in the team. Okay. Seismitoad against the Magnazone. So, turn one. Turn one, take out the Swampert, kill the Gyarados, swap into the Magnazone, the, the, the swap into the Masquerain, baits Magnazone. But does it? Masquerade with speed 124. It might be Dragapult. Dragapult does not see a kill. Toxic Rogue does not see a kill. Also, this is 66. That might help me out a little bit. Executor does not see a kill, and Magnazone does. Okay, that is good. And I can't kill it. That's how the AI is seeing things. And you are sturdy. Which means my Seismitoad... Okay, pivots to Seismitoad on that turn, right? So, second turn, I'm doing a grass move. And Seismitoad is taking a hit from Swampert. Actually, I'm, I'm dodging Thunder and I'm taking... Likely to be Earthquake. 
It is likely to be Earthquake. Swift Swim. This is in the rain with Electric Terrain. Hmm. Endure minus one. No, that's Stone Edge. I forgot. Yep, that's Stone Edge. I'm swapping it on Stone Edge. And I'm killing the Swampert this turn. Okay. Uh, I need to actually type this, type this or I'm gonna forget. So, turn one. Kill Gyarados. Fake out Swampert. Um, Swampert uh, pivots Masquerade. Corain, Bates, Magnezone. All of this is gonna happen in turn one. Then for turn two, swap mask to Seismitoth, dodge Thunder, tank Stone Edge. Ludi. Kill Swampert. Right? What's gonna happen here? After Ludi kills the Swampert, what are we going to see? Hmm. We got Dragapult. Seeing Breaking Swipe 53 to 63. And I can't do much. We've got... Toxicroak. Seeing a kill. Mm -hmm. Super likely to fake out first anyway. Well, maybe not, because it sees a kill. And... Executor. Not seeing a kill. So this is baiting the Toxicroak, right? Swampert. Baits Toxicroak. What happens in turn 3? So this is what it's gonna look like. Open up with these two, exactly in these positions. Electrode kills the Gyarados, fakes out the Swampert so Electrode doesn't get hurt. Pivots. Like this. Baits the Magnezone. Pivots. Seismitoad as I kill the Swampert. And now we're facing both Magnezone and Toxicroak at full HP. So in this situation, we know it's going to be Gunk Shot on the Ludicolo. And what does Magnezone want to do? Magnezone... Magnezone sees Thunder on the Ludicolo. And sees nothing on the Seismitoth. So we know Magnezone is doing Thunder here. And Toxic Rogue, we know what it's doing. It's doing um, Gunk Shot to immediately get the kill. So. They are both attacking the Ludi. Uh, turn 3. Expect Thunder and Gunk Shot Ludi. So what are we doing here? We need to pivot Ludicolo and let Seismitoth kill somebody. I gotta be honest, I might be willing to let Mask Magnezone stay in and kill the Toxic Croak up first. Seismitoth against the Toxic Croak. Kills with Earthquake. There's a question here. Does the AI prioritize surviving or killing me? If the, AI, if the AI prioritizes living, it's gonna fake out my Seismitoth. Otherwise, it's gonna prioritize the kill. He should go for the kill when he sees one, so I should be able to Earthquake here. Hmm. Which means I could pivot to Gliscor. But then if I'm Earthquaking in doubles... 
This doesn't kill, but it will put the Magnezone in range to trigger the Cuss Tap. So I think I'd rather do Liquidation, or do I keep the Tox? I'll keep the Magnezone alive. Let's chase this idea. Swapping to a Steel Ground type. Right? Steelix would be ideal. So let's say that Seismitoad here is doing... on the Toxic Croak. This is Dry Skin Sashed. Let's say we Mud Shot to put you into minus one. Still slower. Okay. What if I Seismitoad with Soft Scent? The hell? Yeah. It's in good range to get the kill twice. Or I just bait with Steelix. Let's say I pivot to Steelix. At this point, it doesn't see a kill on anybody, right? So Toxic Croak is gonna go for... Cross Chop. But it shouldn't matter. Because my Seismitoad is now faster at speed 220. Right? At speed 220, I'm much, much faster. I can pivot Steelix in. Hmm. What's my other Swift Swim capabilities? It's Kingdra. And that's it. Seismitoad. I'm kind of curious if I want to kill the Toxic Croak or not. I think I want to kill the Toxic Croak, it makes sense. So if I soft sand you... After dry skin recovery, I never kill twice. Then you might as well just go Citrus. And it's a great chance to 3-hit KO. So... I think we're doing a couple of turns here. Let's chase this idea. Pivots to Steelix. Uh, Seismitoad. Mud Shots. Toxicroak. Mm -hmm. Then what happens in turn 4? With Seismitoad on the field, Toxicroak is not seeing a kill, neither is Magnezone, so this is now 50 50. Steelix on that Magnezon. Uh, it's likely we that Steelix is taking the hits. Very, very likely. In fact, if we get high roll flash cannon plus cross chop, it dies. Steelix dies. So is this the play where I might want to pivot my Seismitoad instead? And let Steelix do Earthquake? It's unlikely. Unlikely I want to do that. Hmm. Steelix here could um, heavy slam the Toxic Rogue. That works for me. So we can both take a hit, I guess? This is the part I'm uncertain about. Um, turn 4 I can mud shot again. So... Pin... Toxic Croak. Pin Toxic Croak. And I'm assuming here Steelix... Tanks Flash Cannon. After a second mud shot, Steelix will attack first, right? Nope, it won't. Steelix is too slow. Okay, if I'm resisting gunk shot and an electric move, what kind of steel? This is my only steel ground, right? So it's a terrible idea. Hmm, yeah. Um, unless you tell me that Gliscor can for some reason survive 
a gunk shot quite easily actually. Might be better to use Gliscor instead of Steelix. But let's pursue that idea. Pivots to Gliscor. Seismitoad mud shots the Toxic Croak. So you're now minus one. If it's fake out, it's even better. I can kill immediately and Magnazone can't, right? Magnazone is doing flash cannon on the Gliscor. That I can survive. At full HP, well, no, not really. I can't really survive that. It's very unlikely, actually. So it would be better to just go Earthquake with Seismitoad on the Magnazone. That's gonna kill the Toxic Rock because it's gonna do the rest of the damage. And on the Magnazone, I have to use Gliscor. And I could just U turn. That works too. That works too. Um, what's his item? Magnazon is a cuss tap. Hmm. Might want to do that. We we'll take you. Doing a U-turn. Well, I'll worry about the items later. At this point, it would look like this. Well, we can take a look at that later. Let's just update the strat. Turn 4, pin Toxic Croak. If it's the Gliscor. Yep. We're not pinning. This is Seismitoad Earthquake. And Gliscor... Oops, Jesus. And Gliscor U-turn Magnazone. And this is gonna make sure that next up is Dragapult and Exeggutor immediately. Hmm. So... Gliscor on the Dragapult. The only thing I don't know here is if the Custap Berry will trigger with the Earthquake, or if I can afford to do U-turn and the and the berry doesn't get the trigger. I have no idea. That's something we need to check. Dragapult will see a kill on Gliscor and will not see a kill on Seismitoad, okay. And Exeggutor definitely sees a kill on Seismitoad. Yep, Exeggutor would hammers. And Gliscor would see an immediate kill here, which is a damn shame. Okay, so when I U-turn, what do I want to bait? Seismitoad is staying in, needs to swap on something. So we could pivot to Electrode, Hisuian, who can tank a hit from Woodhammer. And then I'm the fastest thing on the field. Wait, I'm not faster than Dragapult though. Yeah, definitely not faster than Dragapult. Hmm. Okay. Who in this team can even tank grass? Masquerain. Right. So, Executor. It is Executor. Terrain pulses electric. Right. Executor sees electricity and Dragapult sees. Where is it? And Dragapult's is Hydro Pump or Thunder. It's Thunder. 
Putting them into minus one helps me out for the Exeggutor. Okay. Masquerade can one-shot the Exeggutor. So it's now a question of... What do I bring? Yeah. So I'm... I'm U-turning the Seismitoad so it's Masquerain. So, or rather, I'm swapping Masquer um, Seismitoad into Masquerain, so Gliscor needs to pivot into something that kills the Dragapult. And that's a swap for free. So what kills the Dragapult? Dragon Ghost. Ice, Ghost... Dragon Dark Fairy. Well, unfortunately for you, though Kingdra could survive a hit, and it's faster. Dragon Fang would need to hit this range. Hmm, it's too unlikely. It is too unlikely. Or I increase your special attack. And then Dragon Fang has an 81% chance. Whereas Executor at minus one. Would not see a kill. And Masquerade is faster anyway. Masquerain could even Ice Beam. Oh wow, Ice Beam is actually better. Oh, huh. well I'd be damned. Better than Bug Buzz. Because it's Grass Dragon, not Grass Psychic. So, is it Kingdra? Is the question. Or do I have better answers to kill a Dragapult? Honestly, I'm gonna start off with this team. And we'll see where this gets us. And then we'll improve on it. And I'll take the Dragon Fang. Um, which I don't have. Damn, where do I get the Dragon Fang? Dragon Fang... Or you can life orbit. Yeah, I'll life orbit. Life orb the kingdom. Other than that, we're doing citruses, right? Ludicolo gets the citrus. Electrode is getting the citrus. Yep, that's about it. Now we've got to see. We have to see how far this will take us. I think it is a good idea. I'm just not sure if I'm forgetting something. Let's see. Um, I guess the only risk is... Does the Custap Berry activate mid-turn? Mid Which it probably does. Gliscor has a chance to survive that though. Alright, uh... Okay. okay. They're in the right places. The Intimidate doesn't matter. It is raining and it's electric. Turn one, fake out, you, bolt switch, you. Hmm? And who are, who am I pivoting in? Masquerade. Right. 
It's a minus one on the Swampert. Bates Dragapult. Even though it doesn't see a kill. Wait, maybe it does actually. Masquerade on the Dragapult. Yeah, it went for Thunder. Okay, so this is Thunder Stone Edge. Uh, the problem is that now... I don't have a clear way to kill the Dragapult, do I? Unless I can take Thunder and Stone Edge, which is unlikely. Kingdra can take a Thunder. 46 to 55. And Swampert doing Stone Edge at minus 1. 31 to 37, so it's dodging crits here. Ludi just energy balls. Is it just energy ball? Ludi call on the Swampert, just energy balls here. Yep. And Masquerade pivots to Kingdra immediately. Oh. Okay, I'm not sure if I can do that though. Because then I'm baiting Toxic Rogue. And he'll see a kill on either one and it's a coin flip. Okay, we can do it that way. Stone Edges, yep. Survive this. Okay. Incoming Magnezone. This is both on the drag up on the Kingdra. And it's now random. Okay. Um I think I wanna pivot both at this point. I wanna pivot Ludi into Seismitoad in this fight. And who can tank? I'm gonna bring out Gliscor onto the Onto the Dragapult? No, bad idea. It would be Hydro Pump. But if it is Thunder... Okay. I'll bring Electrode here. And I'll pivot Kingdra to Seismitoad. here okay if this is mirror coat on the dragapult dragapult here is seeing a kill on seismitoad no no doesn't see a kill so this could be shallow ball on the hisuian electrode and i can stay in and mud shot I'm gonna do mirror coat and mud shot. See where that takes me. Breaking swipe affects both sides. Okay. Okay, I did not need that. That was a lot of damage. Mirror code here fails. How much does Volt Switch do? It's doing only 22. This is Breaking Swipe or Shadow Ball. Yeah, I'm Volt Switching here, I think. Hmm. Volt Switching here. Custap's gonna trigger, right? Just body pressing on the Seismitoad. Um, how much does Giga Drain do on the Magnezone? 13 to 16 percent. Well, not enough, basically. 
Hmm. Might as well Volt Switch, it's safer. Volt Switch you and swap Seismitoad into Ludicolo so it gives me a chance to fake out whatever comes in. Yep, Cast Step triggers. Goes for the Flash Cannon. That's fine, I'm water. Spadef drop, brother. That is so bad. Really? Okay. I guess. Um. Ask Rain to put the Dragapult into minus one. That'll discourage him from from doing the breaking swipe. Never mind, Dragapult's clear, boy. Okay. Rain Dish. So I need to escape here into a ground type. And I think I will bring Gliscor so that Ludi can fake you out. That didn't even do enough to kill. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. Okay, reset. Got Hydro Pump there. What the fuck? Well, it was not bad for a first try. Handled ourselves pretty well. I'm just surprised that Fake Out did so little. Christ almighty. Okay, let's get the team back on. Okay, so now we know that Dragapult comes in no matter what. Whoops, I wasn't putting them in the right boxes. Okay, so we open up with this. We've got Masquerade. Mm -hmm. We've got Seismitoad. We got Gliscor. And I can't remember the sixth one was Kingdra. Okay, you guys can't hear that. My neighbor decided to use... Fucking drills! <clears throat> okay, so, according to the plan that we have, this actually baits Dragapult. So we can swap on two Thunders, right? But now that's not the play. Unless I can find a way with Seismitoad to do some damage to the Masquerade. Because I'd rather keep to the Masquerade, to the um, Dragapult. Because I'd very much rather leave... Leave Magnazon alive. What if I teach you Ice Punch? Ice Punch does a solid amount. Okay, so turn one... Pivots you. Take out Swampert, Pivots Masquerade. So we'll end up like this. Well, actually no, Ludi will still be there. Right, turn one, kill Gyarados, fake out the Swampert, we pivot to Masquerade. This is baiting Dragapult. Turn two, swap to Seismitoad for free. Uh, turn two, swap Masquerade to Seismitoad. Uh, likely to tank Breaking Swipe. Which makes no sense. If I have Masquerade on the field, why the fuck would you go Breaking Swipe? You saw a kill with Thunder. That makes zero sense. I swear to god, sometimes the AI feels... Feels random. In doubles, at least. Okay. Super likely to Thunder. This should be Seismitoad for free. Swaps mask to Seismitoad. Okay, I'm baiting Dragapult. Right, and Ludi kills Swampert this turn. Baits Toxicroak. Wait, no, it didn't bait Toxicroak though. 
It baited Magnus on Y. It rolled high on the thunder. That's why. Though it's really, really unlikely. It rolled high on the thunder. It should almost never be Magnezone, though. It should be Toxicroak. Yeah, I'll stick to the idea that it baits Toxicroak. I think what we saw was just that the AI got the highest roll. Which means to make this certain, you need to have a high spadef. High spadef Ludi. Jesus Christ, can my neighbor shut the fuck up? Oh my god. Right, if I was high spadef, I would bait gunk shot. I still say it's gonna be gunk shot though. We're gonna need to swap, right? This is gonna be Thunder and Gunk Shot at Ludicolo. That's what I predicted. It's probably not that anymore. It's random from Dragapult on Ludi or Seismitoth. Yeah, random move. So expect Gunk Shot at Ludi. And then I'm Life Orb Kingdra, swapping on a Gunk Shot? Bad idea, no? 55 to 65... Hmm... 55 to 65, Life Orb Kingdra can one-shot the Dragapult. And I will stay in... No, it's the same idea. Just that I should have done different swaps. Uh, gunk shot at Ludi. You don't pivot to Gliscor. You pivot to Kingdra immediately. Seismitoad mud shots the Toxic Croak. Hmm. Seismitoad mud shots the Toxic Croak. Gets hit. Or rather, Kingdra is getting hit. But the Toxic Croak is not fast. I'm not fast enough, am I? No, Seismitoad can kill. Yeah, Seismitoad, after one mud shot, could Earthquake? Hmm. Uh, also, one thing I think the Hisuian Electrode is not in range to kill the Gyarados, is it? It is, absolutely it is. Yeah, I think I'll honestly I think I'll take the exact same team. Just need to react differently if I see the um, the Dragapult, which we will see. Need to think about it. Uh, citrus on everything, just life orb on the Kingdra to make sure it kills. All right, second try. May Swampert Gyarados. Hmm. So this is turn one faking out and Volt Switch on the Gyarados. Pivots to Masquerain. I didn't pay attention. Does Masquerain trigger Intimidate on the next swap? Probably not, no? Oh, okay. Intimidate will trigger on both. Hmm. So Dragapult is already minus one. No, it's not. Clear body. Right. Dragapult, clear body. So I am staying in. Ludicolo, Swampert, Mega. Mm -hmm. Okay. Energy Ball, Masquerade, Pivot, Seismitoad. Goes for Liquidation. 
Minus defense, sure. Goes for thunder instead of breaking swipe. That makes more sense. Okay. This is now Magnazone. Again. Okay. Magnazone again, bro. Now the question. What are these guys doing to us? Seismitoad is right now... What's your HP? Yo? Oh, right. Uh, 168. Seismitoad, 168. 73%. Dragapult does not see a kill. And neither does Magnazone. Okay, since it's never Hydro Pump on one side, I'm swapping Ludicolo to Gliscor. I don't, I don't understand why it's never Toxicroak. Um, I'm pivoting, and I'm Earthquaking here with a question mark. Yeah, I'll Earthquake here. Ludicolo into Gliscor. We do Earthquake. Breaking Swipe. Whatever, dude. Just for... S whatever. Mm hmm That was great. That's a good-ass sign. This is now Hydro Pump on the Gliscor, guaranteed, right? Could also be flash cannon. Either way, I'm pivoting here. Not fast enough, so I have to Kingdra here. Seismitoad. Seismitoad is very likely getting killed at 101. Seismitoad at 101. Minus one defense, too. Body press is really good here for him. And Dragapult is gonna see a kill. Could be Hydro Pump. Okay, um, if it is Hydro Pump, it would be Ludi. I'm bringing in Ludi into this. Okay. Kingdra and Ludi. Goes for Flash Cannon. Okay, they're both water types. Mm hmm. Hydro pumps the water dragon. And now, how does the Custap Berry work? Is it permanent Quick Claw? No way. It's just when he eats it, right? Because right now, here, I'm doing Dragon Pulse to you. And I guess I'm faking out the Magnazone this turn, because why not? Dragapult dead and gone. The crit we did on the Dragapult does not matter at all. Indra is now the fastest thing on this field. Life Orbed. Toxicroak. Okay. Toxicroak sees Gunk Shot on the Ludicolo. Does anybody see a kill on Kingdra? Probably. Kingdra 95. Magnazone sees a kill with Thunder. And Toxicroak sees a kill with Gunk Shot. Okay, so I have to pivot both of them. Uh, Gunkshot Thunder, that's a, that's a swap onto Gliscor. I guess Masquerade could survive by doing Intimidate. By doing Intims. There's also a risk of Thunder on the Ludicolo side, but it's unlikely. Very unlikely. 
Mm-hmm. Then I'll do that. Wait, Kingdra swaps to Gliscor. Ludi to Masquerain. Dunk shots that, okay. So, Bliss score 135 HP. Toxic Rock does not see a kill. And Magnazone does. I can Earthquake this turn. Bliss score is not faster than my Toxic Rock, though. My Toxic Rock, their Toxic Rock. Not faster. But I can kill the Magnazone this turn. Masquerade, unfortunately, is too slow. And at 91, it dies to Gunk Shot. This is another Gunk Shot incoming. I think I'm gonna Bulldoze. Um, wait, Gliscor. Gliscor is faster, but that's not good enough. I think I'm bulldozing this turn. The problem is what comes in. This Luthi dies to gunk shots, and so does Electro, right? Yep, they are both dead to this. Seismitoth can survive a gunk shot, but he will not survive after Gliscor doing bulldoze on it. 101 HP. Okay, then... Uh... Hmm. How much does U-turn do? Let's score on the Magnazone. Probably does nothing. 8 to 9. Yep. Okay. Bulldoze. And if I swap Seismitoad onto this... Seismitoad. Seismitoad will only take a hit from Toxic Croak, which is 27.5 at 101. 44% on the highest roll, I take 63, that leaves me with 38 HP. And my Gliss score. And my own Gliss score on a Bulldoze is doing 17% on the highest roll. 1 in 16 rolls on either side will kill the Seismitoad, but I have to risk it. Okay, just don't hit a very high roll. 59, that sounds like a good roll. Yep. 23, that's exactly the HP that Poison's gonna take. Fucking Poison. Oh, fuck yourself, man. Fucking Poison, dude! Why?! <sighs> okay. The plan... is decent, but... Eh, not good enough. I think we can do, like, half the team pretty damn well. The problem is the problem is being unlucky. That's the freaking problem. But anyways, uh, I was using Masquerade. I was using Electrode for this. We need to rethink the plan that I have at the bottom. We're gonna scroll real quickly. Where is my seismic? Why, buddy? Why? Anyways, anyways. So let's take a look at the plan. For some reason, even though Magnazone sees a kill, he's always gonna bring in Dragapult, which never sees a kill. That's just the way it is. Um, Toxicroak always sees a kill on the Ludicolo, it's faster, doesn't matter, it's just 
it's just using Magnazone. I don't know why, it feels like May Swampert goes by order no matter what. Like, I'm literally baiting the fastest one that kills me. And it doesn't seem to work. She's just going in order. So, we need to play like that. And we need to assume that. So, if it's always by order, how does that change the plan? We're two-thirds in. We just need to figure out the rest. And that's what I am losing patience for. Alright. So, turn one... We have Electrode, we Volt Switch, we Volt Switch, fake out the Swampert, pivot into Masquerain, gets a minus one on the Swampert, that guarantees Stone Edge. We're baiting Dragapult here. We're pivoting Masquerain to Seismitoad, dodging a Thunder from Dragapult, and tanking a Stone Edge from the... Tanking a Stone Edge from the Swampert. Ludi kills the Swampert. This is gonna bait now Magnazone. Which means at this point, we are left with... So this pivots to this. Then pivot to this. We now have Ludi and Seismitoad facing Dragapult and Magnazone. This is the point where it's random move. But Magnazone has a chance to see a kill on Ludicolo with Thunder. So we don't want to swap Kingdra immediately. We want a ground type here. Um, I want to I want to leave Magnazone alive because Magnazone only does pretty much flash cannon and body press. So if I pivot, let's say we pivot to Gliscor here. I need to give Seismitoad Ice Punch and maybe leave Kingdra's room to somebody else. The AI is probably going to go breaking swipe then. Right, because Dragapult sees that I can do a lot of damage with Seismitoad if I have Ice Punch. Right. So Ice Punch here is doing kills in three turns, and I'm holding a Citrus. So I have the upper hand. If he breaking swipes me, suddenly it becomes 0% chance to three hit KO. So it's super likely to breaking swipe that turn. I mean, I could bring Clefable onto that. Thing is that then Magnazone has a field day. Yep, Magnazone will have a field day with me. 66, by the way. Hmm. The play... Um... So, Gliscor... Let's see. Gliscor at minus one. Bates Flash Cannon and Hydro Pump from Dragapult, right? Hmm. So at this point, this is the easiest swap to Kingdra. Kingdra is faster than the Dragapult. Dragon Pulse will just kill. So we could... Yeah, Pivot Gliscor is bait. Pivot Kingdra here. But at this stage, we need to be ready to kill the Magnazone. And I think that's what we're missing. Okay, we're not expecting Gunk Shot anymore. We have Seismitoad and Ludi, right? Uh. So. Ludicolo to Kingdra. Seismitoad doing much shot on Toxicroak is way too much, right? Not on the Toxicroak, on the Magnazone. It does a lot. I have to I have to go liquidation. Otherwise I trigger the cuss tap. Okay. Liquidation on the Toxicroak. And then turn 4 is Kingdra, Depulse, and Seismitoad, Mudshot. And this should be a double kill, and gets us all the way to turn 5. Turn 5 here... 
They're gonna open up with... Toxic Croak and Exeggutor, right? Toxic Croak on the Seismitoad and the Kingdra. Doesn't really see a kill, it's just gonna fake out. And Exeggutor will definitely see a kill on either. Because you can Dragon Hammer the Kingdra. Or you can Wood Hammer the Seismitoad. It's super likely that it Wood Hammers. So turn 5, I have to swap um, Seismitoad to Mask. And Kingdra to tank the Dragon Hammer at this point. What do we got? Hmm. Bliss score is 43 to 51. You would pivot on a minus one, mind you. So Gliscor has pretty good chances. Even even that like Electrode has pretty good chances. Yeah. I think Electrode can pivot in here. Baiting the gunk shot. And it can volt switch on the Toxic Rogue, for example. Volt switches on the Toxic Rogue. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the play. Seismitoad to Masquerain, Kingdra to Electrode Hisuian. And we're gonna play from there. Yeah. Maybe now. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, fake out. Swampert, Volt Switches, the Gyarados. That's the big boy. Mm -hmm. And we are pivoting to... Is it still Masquerain? Yes, pivots Masquerain. We already know that this is Dragapult. After which... Need to double check that. Mm -hmm. At this point we are energy balling the Swampert, Masquerade to Seismitoad. For liquidation. Okay. It's fine. Now Magnazone. And what we had planned this turn was to... Ludi goes to Kingdra. Seismitoad wants to do... Liquidation, but not on the Toxic Croak. I got it. Ludicolo swaps to Gliscor. And we are doing Liquidation on the Magnazone. Please be Thunder. Please be Thunder on the Gliscor. Please be Thunder. Fuck. Coin flips, ladies and gents. Coin flips. Ah, oh, fuck that shit. Why? 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 I'm actually curious.
just as I thought. Okay. Minus one mask minus one swampert liquidation does not kill the masquerade. Yep. So this should be always Stone Edge. Fakes you out, Volt switches. Done. Masquerade pivots. Minus one Swampert. Stone Edge is what kills. Uh, energy Ball here. Pivot Seismic Toad. There we go. Stone Edge. And should be Dragapult Thunder. Exactly. Okay, that crit was not necessary. Magnazone. So this is where we pivot Luthi to Gliscor. And we liquidation the Magnazone. Yep, breaking swipe is fine. Is this body press? Maybe. Could be body press. Okay, now the question is, does minus one kill... Minus one seismitoad kill the Magnazone. Okay, at minus one is doing 66 to 79, so it is unlikely. It is very unlikely, actually. In fact, do I have the... Actually, it's not that bad. Well, yes it is. It does not kill. It is right now 69. Okay, so most rolls do kill if we Earthquake here. Well, Mudshot and Earthquake are doing the same thing. Right, so Gliscor pivots to Kingtra. And I am Mudshotting here. Hydro pumps the water type, it's fine. Nice. This should now be Executor, I'm thinking. Nope, it is Toxic Rock. See? It's just... it doesn't make sense. It would make sense to bring in Executor. No, Executor is slower and dies. Never mind. So Kingdra here just wants to depulse. And the question is, what does Seismitoad want to do? Because I might be dead. Seismitoad at 153 against this Toxic Rock. He can't kill me. Um, okay, so is this mud shot? Yeah, fix me out, that's fine. Good. That is a 50-50, that fake out. Now. Kingdra on this Exeggutor. Uh, which Exeggutor? There we go. Ice Beam is not in range to get the kill. Okay. This is Dragon Hammer. Well, at 139, it is Dragon Hammer. Masquerain, putting you into minus one, could do something. Blizzcore tanks it a little bit better. So, I'm gonna pivot that. Yeah. Kingdra into Gliscor and Seismitoad into Electrode. Wait. Kingdra into Gliscor? Was that part of the plan or did I not? Seismitoad to Masquerain and Kingdra to Hisuian. Oh, okay. Can Hisuian Electrode survive this? Kind of. Kind of, sort of. Hmm. Um. Okay, Seismitoad should be the Masquerain immediately, right? So... Do I want to bring Ludi into this? 
Like, can I fake out and go slowly? Ludicolo can survive a dragon hammer. Yes, yes he can. Okay, so I'm gonna swap Ludi instead. Wait, isn't this gunk shot? Kingdra Toxicroak. It's super likely. 139. It's super likely to be gunk shot. Okay, I need this to be Kingdra. Kingdra on the Gliscor. And Seismitoads. I'm bringing. Hmm. I'm bringing in Ludi here, maybe? Ludi Colo on an Exeggutor grass move. Okay, there is a chance. I'll do it. It did go gunk shot for the um, for the Kingdra. And Dragon Hammer too. Wow, they both went there. Okay. I can fake out, but I cannot kill anybody. Probably. Let's see here. Plus score. Gliscor can U-turn, and I can fake out the Toxic Croak. That's the optimal way. Exeggutor does not see a kill on Ludi either way. I'm gonna fake out that, and Gliscor needs to U-turn. Gliscor here, at this HP. Bates would hammer guaranteed. Okay, would hammer. Which means I can bring in Masquerain. For free, basically. For basically free. Okay. So I'm U turning here and faking out here. Masquerade puts both of you into minus one. It sees with hammer, that's fine. Okay, the freaking dry skin just healed my fake out damage, right? Okay, Masquerade 145 on an Exeggutor at minus one. This is Terrain Pulse. But I am faster and Ice Beam gets the kill, so I'm not even worried. Toxicroak at minus one. Does not see a kill on Masquerade. Uh, does it still see a kill on Ludicolo? It's very likely. Okay, so I'm gonna stay in here. Ice Beam Exeggutor. And Ludi needs to run away, back into Seismitoth. Okay, survive that. Good. And that's hyper effective. Good. Jesus Christ, I'm shaking over here. My stakes are nowhere near as high as actual nose lockers. Seismitoad 127, is it dead? No. Good. Then... I just need to see what Masquerade is baiting. Masquerade 75, this is Gunk Shot again. What's the HP on my Gliscor? 79. 79, he can resist a Gunk Shot very easily. Masquerade into Gliscor. Seismitoad, I want to mud shot here so that's slower. Yeah, perfect. And now Gliscor will be faster. Come on. Yes, gunk shots the left side, gunk shots physical. I'm alive! Poison, doesn't matter. Okay, now, 
Whiskor has no item. Acrobatics will kill. Vacuum Wave. Vacuum Wave is gonna kill my Whiskor. Yep. 32. 18%. He's gonna Vacuum Wave here. Okay. If it is Vacuum Wave... I'm gonna pivot to Masquerade and Earthquake. You tried, buddy. You tried. Okay. That was May 2. I gotta say, it wasn't as bad as with Torterra. Nowhere near as bad. Woo! And we got the fly! Thank you. Oh my god, when I'm pressing left it goes down. Freaking controller, I swear to god. Anyway. We now got to a new cap. 70? Uh, you can learn Hydro Pump, yeah. 69, nice. I actually got someone asking me once, why, why do you always say nice? And I'm like, it's the law, you just have to. <laughs> Was it, uh, uh, what was that show, The Adventures of Zack and Cody, where the where you had that guy, Mr. Mosby, I think it was Mr. Mosby, saying, IT'S THE LAW! <laughs> Does anybody learn any move? Ooh! Too bad you're special oriented. Hyper voice is fine. Hyper voice is just fine, baby! Oh yeah, Beedrill learns nothing. You get this mon really early. Sent to Scorch, my boy. I think at level 69 we're gonna see some attacks, no? Something new? Someone will have it. Shouldn't be just the Hydro Pump Ludi. Whoops. Oh my god, I pressed freaking... Dude, when I press up it goes right when I... Jesus Christ, it's like it's stuck, or whatever, damn, god damn, whatever dude, I need to buy a new controller, that's what, it, ugh. that's what it is, hold on, uh. just need to loosen up the buttons, <laughs> okay, 69, good. Level up the golem. Not gonna lie, I think I should have kept Basque Legion Head Smash. I feel like it was way more useful than Poltegeist has been. To be fair, Poltegeist will probably have more use later. But right now, I feel like I would have used Basque Legion a lot more than I have. Torpedo, Corviknight, damn, nobody wants to learn anything. Alright. We are about 60% done. Uh, oops. <sighs> Let's get you guys in. Got Infernape, nice. I'm surprised that Cloyster actually sucks. You need... If, if you don't have the... Um, yeah, I think Stone Edge is fine. Um, a Head Smash is fine on you. If you don't have Shell Smash on a Cloyster, it's just not worth it. You win. Okay, good. 
Musharna wants to learn Dark Void. 80% chance drags the foe into total darkness. I mean, it's the same thing, it just affects both in a double, so sure. You can use that. Get you in. And the Sir Fetched. Good. Gliscor is already done. Okay, these are the last six. And they learn nothing, right? Yep. Good. So we can finally venture out on two. Oh, I'm gonna delete this. A double. Ninja Boy Yasu. Banet in cast form with the Sash. Poltergeist Shadow Sneak. Icy Wind Willow Wisp. No joke, Pyroar is essential for this. Makes this really easy. No, it's not essential, but you, you get what I mean. And then we got Jolteon Ostagoon. Hmm. Well, the main question is can I kill the Jolteon immediately using Caracosta's bait? This Jolteon does not have Magnet Rise. And let's take a look at... Blizzcord dies to Weather Ball and it's too slow. So we are in need of Seismitoad here. Earthquake... Wait, but then there's Banette as an issue. Because if I'm holding Soft Sand, I take a lot of damage. But I don't die. Right, so this should be both of them, both of them just attacking the Caracosta. So Seismito Earthquake on doubles, Electric Rain. This kills the Jolteon. I don't know what it does to Bonnet. Eh, that's half, not bad. It'll do half. I'll take it. Uh, which will bring out Obstagoon Retaliate. Obstagoon with the Retaliate. That's 140. It still won't see a kill. So Seismitoad is still safe. Um, I need to swap on a rock type that can take a hit. Um, and I could mud shot the Obstagoon. Since they're not aiming at me. Okay, so I could mud shot the Obstagoon. Swaps into another tank. Like Golem. Yep, who can tank it? Let's uh, grab the members because I'm gonna forget them. Stop going right. Okay. So, who do we open up with? Seismitoth? And I need Golem and I need Caracosta. And after I mud shot, okay. After I mud shot, what is Banet seeing here? Now it's definitely going to be random on either side. Golem can actually stay in. Sixty-nine now. Golem can stay in and do a hit on Obstagoon. Much shot. Uh, not fast enough. Obstagoon is going to be 106. Yeah, it's going to be 106. Okay, so I, and this fight needs to be done with no items, at least in the beginning. Seismitoad needs soft sand. Okay, only you. You two are fine without. Just so you don't bait Poltergeist. Hmm. Hmm? Okay. Then I need to bring a fast fighter type. Uh, who can tank Obstagoon a little bit? After Retaliate becomes 70. Surfetch takes too much damage, unfortunately.
but I could swap to Surfetched immediately instead of mud shotting. And then I'm doing first impression, but it's not good enough. This guy was amazing when it was adamant. Um, what other fighters do we have? We got Blaziken, we got Halucha, we got Infernic. Uh, Infernape against the Banettes. It's not doing that much either. Okay, just in case I will take it. I will then bring something just to kill the Banette. Pyroar is fine. And test form. Test form is going to be a lot of trouble unless we can kill fast. Is there any chance Aero that till? I mean, cast form ain't that powerful. A dual wing beats, and if I leave in with Pyroar, I'm doing hyper voice, doing the rest. Okay, I'm thinking I want hyper voice silk scarfed. And then I want Aerodactyl Sharp Beaked. Aerodactyl Sharp Beaked. So you get the silk scarf. You get the beak. Infernape is gonna swap in on Obstagoon, still can't have any items. Soft Sands, this is fine. Oh, there they are. Wait. Did I skip a fight? Oh, there is a ninja. Okay, why did I not pre-damage the cover cost? <laughs> That's my B. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, let's go here. All the way back to a center. Mm -hmm. Alright, supply status, poison, Caracosta. We can now go. Oh my god, I need to replace this controller. Dude! This is getting annoying. God. Give me a second, I'll, I need to this, and let's see if I have something here to... Going. Oh, let's see. Where's my... there it is. You guys can't see it, I'm just cleaning up the controller. inside is definitely making contact so oh mm. let's see let's see if that's better absolutely no it wasn't uh Seems to be behaving. Don't know for how long though. <laughs> yep, it's not behaving at all. I need to buy a new one. Fuck it. Do I have another one here? That might work. Let's see.
Not so sure about this one, but I do have one here. If it works. Oh right, it's the charge. <laughs> Whoops. Well, oh, fuck me then. Um, let me charge you first. Let's see if it's on. Yeah, this is... I mean, we can survive with it as is for a while, but damn, this, this is just for today. Dude, I'm trying to go right. I'm not trying to go... Fuck's sakes. Uh, oh my god. About 28, okay, a little bit more. That takes care of that. Like, why, why are you always going? Are my controls correct? Yeah, they're correct. Yeah, the problem is the control. Is there another controller I can use? Oh, no. um. This is a long shot in the dark. But if the the switch controller works, let's see. Uh, supposedly it works. Supposedly this will work. Device. Let's see. This works. I'm happy. The okay, device is ready, and okay, but it's not working here. So let's set up. Uh, let me just set up the controls real quick. Controller four. Okay. What the hell? Did it already set up everything? No. No, that makes no sense. What the heck? I mean, I can control the mouse at the very least. But it is messing up. Oh, Christ almighty. Okay, something is wrong here. Uh, let's try that again. Yeah, that was an absolute failure. Okay, we're back here. Uh, what is going on? 
obviously this one doesn't work. Chance is the PlayStation One. Uh, uh well, I really doubt it. Be here. Bring up another wireless controller. Unbelievable. And the device is ready. Okay. What are my controls? Hmm, doesn't even respond, okay, maybe if I start this again. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, I see how it is. Bring this up. Bring that up. And that up. Yet I still can't hear a thing. Um, let's see. Sound. Oh, I see. There we go. It moved the sound to my controller. <laughs> uh, start. Oh boy, this is so weird with a PS5 controller. Oh. Banette and Jolteon. And first, we Earthquake Protect. Shadow Sneak, you wish. That was a good ass roll. That's the end of Jolteon. Now, this is an attack on Caracosta. So, I am gonna do Mud Shot. Costa escapes to another tank. Eh, it's okay. Oh, I forgot. Defiant doesn't trigger just when you drop the attack. Triggers on everything else. Okay, um, pretty sure I can still kill this Obstagoon either way. Uh, so Seismitoad here against the Obstagoon. Uh, 
and this is doubles electric rain. Mud shot doing. Wait, I'm level 69, soft sanded. It says here mud shot was only supposed to do 19 to 20 percent. Okay, I think we got the crit, right? That's why liquidation does the rest. Uh, you're at plus two. He lost the retaliate effect. Just don't see frustration, I guess. Uh, what else do I have here? It's right. So I have to liquidation here. And I'm pretty sure that Golem here just dies. Did I pivot to Aerodactyl? Yeah, Aerodactyl can survive at least. Shadow Sneak? Over there? Okay. Good. Okay, this is now Shadow Sneak on the Aerodactyl, and Obstagoon has no priority moves. So Aerodactyl into Pyroar. No shadow sneak, na na na. Woo. Okay, this is now shadow sneak, and then cast form is coming up. How much damage can I deal with Infernape? Enough. Definitely enough. I'm gonna just uh, crunch. Crunch is fine. Okay. And now with cast form on the field, speed 125, he has become water type. So I'm gonna close combat hyper voice, is that enough? I don't know if that's enough though. Infernape against the cast form. Close combat doing 72 to 85 and Pyroar doing the rest. That's fine. Close combat and Hyper Voice. That was the maximum roll, but even on the lowest we would win. Boom! Alright, pretty good. You guys have no idea, this is so awkward just swapping from a... Because that was... I had a, basically an Xbox controller, but... Well, it was a pseudo Xbox controller, if you know what I mean. For the um, for the PC. And now I'm holding a PlayStation controller, it's so weird. Uh, right now it feels weird. Okay, Ninja Boy Gren with a Greninja. We got a Greninja Boy. Well... Fortress just dies, right? Even through the rain. Overheat Pyroar could do it. Uh, it is sturdy though, so careful with that one. Uh, whoops. What about... Claydol can get the kill, not really. This thing wants to do spikes, a bunch of spikes. Aerodactyl is not good enough to kill in two turns. Hmm. I mean, if he goes Toxic Spikes first, that is doable. Like, I can Infernape Flare Blitz and then Mock Punch with a Muscle Band on. It knows it doesn't explode. I can't kill it. Because it's sashed. And then with the cuss tap, I think we're fine. 
Hmm. Yeah, I think we're fine. It's just gonna use spikes or toxic spikes and we have to get rid of those. Um be here. Muscle bandit flare blitz mock punch does the trick. What other options do I have? I could pyre wait, I have Turtonator. Turtonator with rapid spin. It's perfect. I'm faster by literally one point. 30 speed, baby. So I can rapid spin. Hmm. Since I'm faster by one turn, I can just overheat, but then it's Custap Berry. I guess I Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pulse, rapid spin. I think that's fine. Unless I can use something like Cloister, doing 5 hits. Nope. Not good enough. Uh, who else has Rapid Spin? Claydol is not good enough. Turtonator and... Who else had that? Anybody remember? Oh, it was Delmize. I mean, Delmize has power, but... Uh, does nothing on this. But being a ghost type is perfect. Actually, hang on. Delmize is much better. Use a ghost type. Can't blow up on you, and you can rapid spin. Perfect. You go Delmize on this. That's definitely baiting Dusk Noir, isn't it? Dusk Noir can do Shadow Sneak 45. Actually, I have way more levels than that. Doing 39. Ditto with the Quick Claw. I can face my own Delmice quite easily. He's never gonna bring that. Ditto is gonna be the last one. Togedemaru. Togedemaru from the Ninja Boy Gren doing 56. And Greninja from the Ninja Boy Gren. Oh, there it is. Dark Pulse. It's Greninja Ash immediately. 218. Water Dark. My only faster ones in the rain are gonna be Kingdra and Seismitoth. Dark Pulse does too much, and pretty sure that Seismitoad can't tank that either. Hmm. So. Ludicolo is the better play. Mostly because I can fake out Raindish. I benefit from Raindish twice. So yeah, I'll use Ludicolo here. Uh, where's Ludi? If I could swap on a Surf, that's even better. It's better if I pivot Lucario onto the Dark Pulse. Then it's Surf or Water Shuriken. So Lucario as a pivot. Yep. And we'll let Ludi handle the Ash Greninja. Dusk Noir is too slow. It's gonna be Togedemaru. Togedemaru for the zippity zap. An easy seismitoad earthquake here. He is sturdy weakness policy though. So it's gonna be liquidation and then earthquake. Okay. Easy seismitoad there. <clears throat> Then he has to bring Dusk Noir. Hmm. Dusk Noir, Shadow Sneak, Thunder Punch. 
bringing in a normal type ground would have been prime. I have other ghosts, I have Pesky Legion. That's too much. Against this guy I could bring Houndoom? Uh, but Houndoom I don't think is good enough. Yeah, it's not. This is Houndoom on Seismitoad. So it's random Shadow Sneak or Revenge. So either Ghost or Fighting. There's either a Ghost or a Fighting move coming up. What if I pivot just Isui and Electrode onto this? Yeah, that'll do. You see an electrode? I can Volt Switch. Revenge. Um... Okay, if it revenges onto Houndoom, that does way too much. But I can, I can then Sucker Punch. Black Glasses? Sucker Punch doing 60%. You see an electrode with a magnet doing the rest. Yep, yeah, you can do that. See an electrode onto Houndoom with the black glasses. Magnet. Where is it? Okay. And then it's gonna be Ditto on the Houndoom. So, I have my own Houndoom with a Quick Claw. Um, against... well, another Houndoom. So it's super likely to just foul play. And if I pivot into... My own Seismitoad, Foul Play is doing a third, and then I kill. Okay, it'll depend. It'll depend on how well this goes. But I also have Lucario as an option. Hmm. And the Rain Fire doesn't do that much anyways. Let's get here a Citrus on the Delmise against the Fortress. Lucario does not need the Black Belt. Just here for pivoting. Ludicolo against the Greninja absolutely needs a Citrus. Seismitoad get a Citrus. And I think, yeah, you guys get the Magnet and the Black Glasses. Good. We're ready. Oh, oh, right. I, I always forget that there's something in the way. That is my B. Okay. Let's now... What does the most damage here? It's Phantom Force. I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Toxic Spikes. Spikes. Doesn't matter. Rapid Spin here. Gyro Ball, I'm way too heavy, buddy. Phantom Force. You're not gonna Gyro Ball. Yep. Toxic Spikes. Spikes again. Hmm. And get me... Anchor Shot. Okay, cast that berry trigger, sets up spikes, and now I kill it. Lucky! That is plus three speed on the Delmise. Interesting! You go for Ditto immediately. I mean, I know this is Phantom Force. 
So... Houndoom tanks it better. I'm guessing he did, he did that because I increased my own speed, right? Uh, do I want to foul play, sucker punch? What do I want to do here? Found him against my own Delmice. This is foul play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boom. So we're now in a different situation. Look at the model. I'm guessing zippity zap is enough. Look at the model on my Houndoom. This is guaranteed zippity zap. <laughs> I like to call it zippity zap. Seismitoth incoming. It did not work, buddy. So now I know that because you're sturdy, I have to liquidation first. Just to break you. Goes for the steel roller. Does not matter. Yay! No more... No more electric field. Doesn't really matter. I'm guessing now it's gonna be Greninja Battle Bond because... Well, I am still faster, but still. Does more damage, you know? Yeah. Battle Bond Greninja. Guessing that my Seismitoad... Seismitoad at 178. This bait Surf. I'm dead to Surf. That's an easy swap to Ludi. Don't even need Lucario. First of all, we heal in the rain. And fake you out, because I want to heal again. Basically a little leftovers. Ah. Hmm. And... Uh, Mega Drain here? Yeah. Offset the damage just a tad. Oh, it flinched me, sure. Try that again. Oh, good thing I gave you a citrus. Okay, that's a good ass healing. All the way back to full. Now, if this is Dark Pulse on the Ludi, I guess I can pivot to Lucario here and just vacuum wave for half of your HP super easy and keep my Ludi topped up who knows I might need it hmm and Lucario vacuum waves nice this was Lucario doing at least half with that And then we've got Dust Noir, right? Okay, and I am holding an item. Okay, so this is probably Poltergeist. Yeah, it's 100% Poltergeist. So I guess the play here is to swap to Houndoom. Isui and Electrode holding an item. It's too much. Houndoom cannot kill. Okay, what about Ludicolo? Ludicolo has no item. Poltergeist does nothing, so I'll do that one first. I think I kept you topped up. Popped in for free. And now this is T-Punch. Um, 
I'm gonna Hydro Pump here. Hydro Pump will do at least 60%. And that'll trigger the red card. Don't bring me something that dies. Okay. Revenge. Well. Yep. Yeah, then that was that was unlucky. Uh, either I find something that can one shot it, or I aim for status effects. Hard to say. I mean, electrode was not really necessary. No, I should have volt switched then. I should have swapped to Electrode after the Polterge Poltergeist. I think that's all we needed. Uh, rapid Spin. Phantom Forces again. Okay, cast that Berry, don't care. Rapid Spin, and now we Anchor Shot. This time it kills. Goes for Ditto here. This is immediate Houndoom. Or to somebody else who can tank this. I don't know if Lucario would be the play here though. Like if we bring Lucario into my own Delmise, how much damage are we taking? A lot. A lot, that's all you need to know. Oh, acted faster because of the quick claw. Thank you. The token the matter we already know. Size method in. Dust Noir. Right, because Dust Noir here sees a kill. I'm gonna pivot Electrode in. Okay. Bolt switch first. This is another Poltergeist. Okay. Interesting bug there. Oh. Was I supposed to do that little dust more? Volt switch magnet should have dealt at least 43. I can guarantee you that is not 43. Yep. Not even enough. Let's see, my Houndoom. Houndoom with the black glasses. Attacks first. Okay, I attack first, I can just foul play for the kill. He has nothing that is priority except Shadow Sneak, and Shadow Sneak does not is not enough to kill, thankfully. Okay. Random move on the Greninja. I need Ludi here. Nice. It was two and three for the water shuriken thing. Take you out. Mega Drain. And we can just Mega Drain again. Easy. Okay, what is down here? Nothing. Hey! 4-3! Thank God!
What? Somebody here gives us things. Not this guy. Actually, it might be this guy, but after we get to like Pseudopolis or something. Cares? They don't care. Desks. Just secret base stuff. Oh, there's... Okay, it's blocking the way. We can get to Route 120 and get the capture. There is that possibility. We might even go for it. Oh, I think we have all we need. Want to learn the move Hurricane. Okay, this guy is a Hurricane move tutor. Guy wants the wheezing, right. I wish I had one. Very wheezing would go hard. Okay, so this is always going to be wrong no matter what. It's easy to prove. Yep, there we go. This one gives us nothing. It's just a little troll. There's no block this time, you can go immediately to the gym. Yeah. Then I think I want to check this trainer first. Uh, let's not go to the gym already. Route 120, Parasol, Clarissa. Yeah, I like that. So, Grievance. Grievance really slow. Dies to anything. Come on, give me a fighter type. That can make stuff happen. So, Mr. Grievance. Parasol Lady Clarissa, right? Yeah. We bring in Infernape. Close combat, 69. It's my level. Not strong enough. Really? Okay. And if I lie four of you, easy. Yep. <clears throat> good. What about Lucario? Not as good. Okay. So it's life orb infernic. Where is E? Where's monkey? There you are. Give me life orb. I knew you had. Oh, wait a minute, you guys can't see the... There we go. You guys couldn't see the game. Okay. Life orbs were good. That's gonna bait Hateren. Hateren for Psychic, which means free pivoting to Houndoom. That's my only dark type. Unfortunately. No, Sharpedo is also an answer. But Sharpedo dies. <laughs> You're too weak, my friend. You're too weak. Well, I can pivot to you and flip turn on the Draining Kiss. Like Toxtricity. Now I'm baiting Psychic again. I control you a little bit. Yeah, I control you a little bit using Sharpedo and Toxtricity. Just constant swapping. Uh, Sharpedo and Toxtricity. Where are you at? Mm -hmm. uh, I can keep Houndoom if I need to. Okay, and to kill the Among Us. Something like Magmortar, Pyroar. 
surprisingly bulkier than I thought. Um, what about... Oh, wait, this is no longer electric rain, electric terrain or rain. Overheat pyroar, hmm, it's not bad. Uh, I'm guessing, hmm, I'm guessing I have better ways. Guess I can just bring Aerodactyl. Dual wing beats with a Chesto Berry, that's good enough. Whoops. Corviknight's better. Yeah, Corviknight is much, much better. Brave Bird with a Lumberry. And I will still bring Aerodactyl either way. And as for items... Okay, your orbs. You two can have citruses. You just need that. Corviknight needs a lum. And also lum on the Aerodactyl. Good. Oh! <laughs> Forgot about that guy. Bunch of Kecleons in the way! Okay, something up there. That's fine. We're far away from getting there. Close combat. Life orbed. Even a grievance falls. Cool. Incoming hot terrain. Re pivot to Sharpedo. See a kill again. So flip turn. Into the Toxtricity. Oh, that's actually... Oh. Okay, that's actually not very good damage. Yeah, we're gonna stay here forever. I'm pretty sure I can kill you, no? With Toxtricity. There was no point in pivoting then. Sludge Wave, 85 to 101. Okay, it's slightly above the 85 range. So we need to do yet another pivot. Maybe now... It's there. It's there, I'll take it. Sludge Wave. Nice. Among Us! Oh, this one's a good question. You don't really see a kill on me. I'm guessing it's just Spore. Um, even Foul Play Crits doesn't kill me. Uh, I'm gonna Acid Spray because of the next one. No, they're both physical. Okay, now I have Boom Burst over Snarl in my calcs. need to take that into consideration. Then I guess I just Boom Burst. It's boosted by my own ability. Can do half. Well, had the potential. Now I'm gonna swap Corviknight. Brave Bird here does. 
72 to 86. It's dead. Good thing we have the ruler. That is the end of you, but we're not there yet. Yep, still gotta face one more guy before we get that encounter. Just one more. Okay, what the fuck is this? Okay, thank you. Next fight is... Bird Keeper Robert. <laughs> A Vika Vault with Power Herb and Guillotine. Yikes! Yikes! Oh my god! What's your weaknesses? Vika Volt is Bug Electric. Bug Electric. Fire or Rock? Oh come on! Oh come on! You already know what this is. This is Infernape. Regular Infernape. Okay, regular Infernape kills this thing. Fates. Well, Tropius or Delibird. It's not gonna be Delibird because I kill it. Yeah. It would never be Delibird. It's just Tropius who also dies. They all die. Huh. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? I will bring Citrus Berry and Furnape and see if that's good enough. In case it isn't, Aerodactyl is good for this. Against the Deli Bird with Dual Wing Beat and Triple Axle. Pretty sure Golem does the trick very well. Eh, kind of. Kind of. I have other faster fire types. The 127, not fast enough. 123. 171. That'll do. Pyroar can take care of that as well. Doing an overheat. You do have overheat, right? Yeah, you do. Good. Uh, can trick can bring Corviknight with me. Don't mind bringing Houndoom in case of Sucker Punch emergencies. And I'll take Turtonator. So. Citruses galore and nothing else. I mean, if I don't take too much HP, Infernape alone should be able to kill this. Nobody has priority moves or anything. I haven't checked the shop either. Isn't there something in Fortree I can get? Maybe. Peak of old. So. Lair Blitz. Done. Boom. Drops me to 120. Flare Blitz again. Boom. Okay. And at 88 HP, is that enough for me to survive? I think it is. Let's see. 88 HP. Yep, that is enough. Three flare blitzes with a citrus, and you're done. Okay. So you get access to this. EM14 or a sphere. We don't get access to this cave just yet. Okay, you could get the water encounter. We can take a look at the encounters in a moment. Okay, there is something here. Nothing else. Fine.
on the nugget. And what else is in here? Oh right, this path is blocked. Do the Fort Tree Gym first, because something is blocking the way. Okay, let's take a quick look at the encounters we can get here. This is Route 120. So we've got an... We've done the abandoned ship, 119. Yeah, we've done that. We got here... What was it? Wait, who the hell did I get here? Was it the Seismitoad? Okay, now I'm drawing a complete freaking blank. Who the hell did we get on Route 119? Route 111. Oh! Hold on, no, 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 that was the gift. Test form was a gift. Who was the 119 encounter? Ah, Gastrolon. It was this boy. Got it. So in Route 120, we've already eliminated the most common ones, Holuch and Gliscor. So it's gonna be either Sneasler for poison, Mianxiao, Beware, I'd like the Altaria. <laughs> we can't really pull anything. Or we go to the water for Slowro, Golizapod, Gyarados. I'm fine with this. With sticking to land here. In the Scorch slab, slab we're gonna stick to the land as well. I wanna I wanna get a Litwick. Okay. So let's get a paralysis type. I'm gonna grab Electros. And I need a fake out user. I'm gonna get Ludi. Okay, then I'm gonna get a couple of. Corviknight is good to keep them in check. You don't re ne really need Turtonator. Or that. I'll bring in Aurora and Steelix in case I need some sort of tank. And that's it. Okay, I think we're ready to go for the capture. Get rid of my citruses, we're not gonna waste them here. Oh, let's save with no, no items. Okay, we're searching for an encounter. Let's see what we get. Immediate, damn. All Lucha doesn't count. <laughs> Okay, another Holucha. We already have you. Okay. Come on. Stop giving me Holuchas. Okay, we got the most common one after the, the Holuch and the Gliscor. Alright, let's throw in a quick ball. Show me capture! One, two, three. Thank you. And that is Sneasel. What you got for me? Quiet nature, plus special attack, minus speed. That's really bad. Because you're mostly an attacker. And you're supposed to be fast, too. Fuck me, okay. Let's see what this guy can do. Sneasel Hisuian. Are you inner focus? Yeah, you are. Inner focus, Sneasler. Yep, everything is physical with this one. Do I want to delay for anything? 60, Gunk Shot. And this one learns Gunk Shot at 60, so it doesn't matter. 
Okay, how do you evolve again? Isui and Sneasel needs to be holding a Razor Claw. Okay, let's go and get it. Uh, 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 uh. Whoops. Propellant is now active, and I want to fly. Oh, right, can't do that on the map. Do I have a flyer? I oh, can't fly until... Right. Not until you win the gym. Any chance you sell them here? No, but you sell these. I like that. Dragon scale. Yeah, you don't sell that. Where's the razor claw? Okay, so the razor claw is in petal work. Oh boy, do we need to run. So to get, what's the fastest way to get to Pedalberg? Using the cycling road? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta use the cycling road and then use the shortcut to Pedalberg. That's gonna be the, the key. That's how we get there fast. Uh, down? Yeah. Take the other side, and this is how we're gonna get there. Oh wait, I can't get there? Huh! I thought I could go underneath? Alright. <laughs> I guess the trainers there are just a gag, because they're stuck. Okay, so it's sold here. Razor Claw. Uh... Rats got the Sneasler. Low kick over low sweep. Uh, lose the fling first. Poison jab over cross poison. Mm -hmm. Take out, yes. Knock off. Um, I guess I'll take it. Mm. No, no, I won't. It's, I'm more likely to use knock off on on either ghosts or psychic types. Got the gunk shot, 85. Sure. And there we go. What's your speed? 164. It's not that impressive. You were much better before. I mean, I guess it's fast enough for most fairy types. But it won't be good enough for the Altaria. I can but promise you that the Altaria has... Actually, it's really slow, damn. Never mind, the Altaria is 151 speed. Okay, we're chilling then. Okay, you're fast enough. But... So now to get back. I think I can use the same way. Yeah. God damn it, man. I wanted Altaria. Okay, we do have the option to get the Beldum or the Larvitar, if we go to the game corner now. I'm not sure if I want to get the 6... I'll probably want the 6 badge one, which gives me either Bagan, Dino or Dratini. The chance to get Gumi or the... or Jangmo'o, that's now on the 7th gym. So I'm, we might still go for the 6th gym to try and get maybe a Dragonite. 
Or I wouldn't mind the High Dragon. I think High Dragon would be pretty damn good. Okay, we don't have any other encounters. Yeah, this is fixed now. In that case, guys, we're going to stop here. We're going to continue tomorrow at 6... No, wait. No, 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 no. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Yeah. Tomorrow I haven't... Oh, damn. How am I going to do this? I think tomorrow we're going to start earlier chats. At like 4.30. More like 4, 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock Central European time. Because I'm going to need to leave earlier. Because I already have another appointment. But okay. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stream. <laughs> Ciao. See you. See you, brother. Uh, we're going to be live, like I said, tomorrow a little bit earlier. 4 p.m. Central European time. And we'll probably end around 7, 8. So, a 3-4 hour stream should be more than enough to, to do the whole 4-3 city gym. And maybe do a bit more. Alright. Bye.